Saudi billionaire Turkey bin Abdullah has a $22 million car collection that will make your jaw drop. The uber-wealthy royal never misses an opportunity to show off his gold-plated supercars and luxury cruisers, and he even racked up some hefty parking fines when he was driving his whips around London. The globe-trotting prince is reportedly linked to the House of Saud, which at the time of writing was worth an estimated $1.4 trillion, so the parking fines didn't upset him too much. Here's a look at some of the fabulous gold supercars owned by Turki bin Abdullah. Prepare to be amazed! The most expensive gold car in Turki bin Abdullah's collection is his spectacular Bugatti Veyron. Bugatti Veyrons typically sell for $1.9 million, but when you wrap a Veyron in gold, expect the price to go way, way up. Bin Abdullah's gold-plated Veyron is worth an estimated $10 million, and it always turns heads when he takes it out for a spin. The Veyron might just be the most impressive supercar ever built. Bugatti developed the Veyron completely from scratch, and barely any parts or components from existing car concepts were used in its production. It's the pinnacle of supercar performance. The Veyron can reach a top speed of 408 km per hour and is equipped with an 8.0-liter quad-turbocharged W16 engine. The powerful engine puts out more than 1,000 horsepower and can propel the Veyron from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.5 seconds. Not every car in Bin Abdullah's collection is an ultra-fast supercar. If he wants to cruise around in something a little bit more classy, he opts for his gold-plated Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe. The $4 million masterpiece has a top speed of 250 km per hour and can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 6.1 seconds. Sure, it's not particularly fast, but that's not the point of owning a Rolls-Royce. It's about cruising in style and showing off. Bin Abdullah's 18-carat gold-wrapped Rolls-Royce is just as nice inside as it is outside. The luxurious interior of the Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe is decked out in the finest leathers, woods, metals, and fabrics. It really is the finest saloon car on the market. When Bin Abdullah wants to go off-roading, he hops in his Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6. His $2.5 million G63 6x6 looks right at home tearing through the sandy dunes of Saudi Arabia's deserts. Bin Abdullah even posted a video of himself racing alongside a camel in his G63 6x6. With a top speed of 161 km per hour, the camel didn't stand a chance. The AMG was only on the market for two years, so even the ones that aren't gold are fairly rare. Bin Abdullah's massive fortune likely came from oil and gas, so it might seem a bit strange that he owns a Porsche 918 Spyder. The limited production mid-engine plug-in hybrid comes equipped with a 6.8 kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery pack that delivers an all-electric range of 19 kilometers. Bin Abdullah's 918 Spyder is not only gold, it's green too. The $1.5 million Marvel is incredibly fast. It has a top speed of 340 km per hour and can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.6 seconds. What supercar collection would be complete without a Lamborghini? Bin Abdullah's Lamborghini Aventador SV is not quite one of a kind, but it's close. It's one of only 500, so it's no surprise it's worth $1.2 million. The gold wrap really makes this supercar stand out, as do the car's iconic scissor doors. Bin Abdullah took his Lamborghini Aventador SV for a spin in an upscale part of London and was slapped with a $110 parking ticket. But he wasn't bothered and continued having his lunch. $110 for Bin Abdullah is like a penny to us regular folks, so it's no surprise he was unfazed. The Fuzz also slapped a ticket on Bin Abdullah's G63 6x6 the same day. They must have been jumping for joy when they saw the gold cars parked on the street. Bin Abdullah's clearly a fan of Lambos because he owns a gold-plated Lamborghini Huracan. 
The $1 million beauty is equipped with a V10 engine and an electronically controlled all-wheel drive system that makes driving the supercar a breeze. Every Lamborghini is a work of art, so it's no wonder that Bin Abdullah is so fond of these spectacular supercars. The Bentley Flying Spur is one of the more affordable luxury cars on the market. The base price is just $187,000. However, Turkey Bin Abdullah wanted to take his Flying Spur to the next level. What better way to do so than to wrap it in gold, of course? Bin Abdullah's $500,000 Bentley Flying Spur has a W12 engine that can generate 616 horsepower, so it's both powerful and flashy. A typical Range Rover Vogue is about as unassuming as you can get. However, the same can't be said for Turkey Bin Abdullah's Range Rover Vogue. It's obviously wrapped in gold, but it also has a high-end Haman Motorsport tuning package. The $500,000 SUV has 322 horsepower instead of the standard 272 and is equipped with massage seats and a refrigerated storage compartment. The Range Rover Vogue can reach a top speed of 210 km per hour and go from 0 to 100 km per hour in 8 seconds. Not bad at all for an SUV, although if he's in a rush, Bin Abdullah will have to take one of his Lambos. Not every car in Turkey Bin Abdullah's car collection is gold. He also owns a modest Maybach 62 worth $450,000. He likely drives around in his Maybach 62 when he wants to go under the radar. While the Maybach 62 is a classy car, it's certainly not going to turn heads, especially if it only has a standard black paint job. There is a gold Maybach 62 out there in the wild though, but it's not owned by Turkey Bin Abdullah. Dragon's Den star and entrepreneur Theo Pafaitis reportedly owns a $57 million Maybach 62. Yes, $57 million. Both the interior and exterior of Pafaitis' Maybach 62 are covered in gold. Talk about extravagant. Not everyone can afford a gold-plated supercar like Turkey Bin Abdullah, but it's actually possible to take a ride in one even if you're strapped for cash. London-based taxi service MyWhip actually offers passengers a chance to be chauffeured around in a gold-plated supercar. It's entirely up to chance, though. There's a 1 in 100 chance of being picked up in a gold supercar like a McLaren or Lamborghini. Looks like Turkey Bin Abdullah isn't the only one traveling in style. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that Turkey Bin Abdullah has a pet cheetah? He even lets the big cat sit passenger side in his supercars. We wonder how he keeps the fast cat calm when he's cruising down the streets. Bin Abdullah is not the only wealthy Middle Eastern billionaire who owns a big cat. Lions, tigers, and cheetahs are extremely popular with uber-wealthy royals in the Persian Gulf. Dubai's crown prince Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed owns a white lion despite the fact that the UAE recently outlawed the sale of big cats. Cheetahs reportedly cost between $1,000 and $10,000 on the black market, but lions can cost as much as $150,000. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.